So far, I've constructed several different areas for my game, uh, different locations, such as Mr. Cologlius' mansion, uh, there's also a train station, and Mazarin's tower, but I also want to make the space in between, that is, a uh, city map that you can walk around in and get to get from one location to another. Now, there'll be things to interact with on this map, but the main purpose will be just to get from one location to the next. But I want the experience of navigating this map to be fun and interesting in and of itself. So, how do you make just walking around in a city interesting? What makes a city map fun to explore versus just a boring to walk through? Well, one obvious answer is to fill your city with interesting, distinctive looking buildings. Like the Sheldonian Theatre in Oxford, or uh, Casa Baccio in uh, Barcelona, or uh, this building in uh, Hamburg. No problem, let's just assume I can make all the cool buildings that we need for the game. I started putting up some placeholders here um, on this map. Um, over here is Mr. K's mansion. Also started blocking in some buildings next to it. Uh, down here, we got a museum of some sort. Starting to block that out. This is where the train station is. The train station seems really large, but that's because the outside is based on the map that I already made of the interior. And I've already started building this little this little city block here. It's going to have a coffee shop and maybe uh, some retail stores here. Um, but but already I'm not liking the fact that it's too clean. It's too neat. We have a flat, perfectly flat ground and all these different roads intersecting at perfect 90 degree angles. And it's really not very interesting. Here's a view of Edinburgh in Google Maps. Google Maps is a great resource, by the way. Uh, we can see that the ground here is not level at all. The road on the right is going uphill, where the road on the left is going downhill. And even though we have lots of roads going off in different directions, uh, they're not at 90 degree angles from each other. In fact, they're kind of um, random. Here's a road that goes subtly downhill, and over here, we have a road that, that goes steeply downhill, so much that they had to put a rail to keep people from falling. Another interesting thing is if we actually go down this uh, steep downhill road, we'll see something interesting. You see the road ends here with a rail, and then there's a set of stairs. And if you walk down the stairs, it comes out here on the street below, and if I move the camera up, I can see the rails that we were just looking at. So we've gone down a whole two stories worth of height here, so the city is split in elevation at this point. And notice if we look in either direction here, we can't see very far. And that is because the road is curved and it's wrapping around, which is also kind of interesting because it makes you curious about what might be around the corner. So all of these factors make the city interesting to explore. So here's what I want to do. We want to try to avoid flat roads. In fact, the pictures of Edinburgh don't really do justice to the real life experience of having to walk up and down all of those hills. So we're even going to exaggerate and make unrealistic inclinations in the road. The other thing we want to do is we want to make the roads as short as possible and we want to limit the view distance as much as possible. I mean, not only would that make the city visually interesting and easier to get lost in, uh, it also has a technical advantage where you don't have to render as much on the screen at once and you don't have to have very much of the city loaded into memory at any point in time. Now, obviously, we want to have a few vistas here and there, but, uh, you know, as a general rule, let's limit the draw distance. 
Another thing is it's going to make the world feel bigger because it divides the world up into a larger number of identifiable spaces. So the player gets the impression that there's a big world. We don't want the world to actually be big though because the player is going to have to walk around and it's going to take time. We don't want the player to waste a lot of time walking. So we also want to make the world as small as possible. Here I'm using Pro Builder, which is Unity's built-in modeling facility. It's uh, not very sophisticated, but it's good for doing quick prototypes, maybe. And the advantage is, is you can do it in the game engine, so you can, you know, have your little character walk around inside the map without having to export it and import it and all that kind of stuff. So I start off with a cube. Right now you can see this is the outside of the cube. I'm going to flip the normals. And what that's going to do is it's going to turn the cube into just the inside of a cube. So it's kind of like being inside of a room, almost. Except, um, no ceiling. So then I can select a face and extrude it. There we go. And kind of pull it out. And I can start building roads this way. So, as I mentioned before, we want to have it hills up and down, so I'm going to move it up a little bit. Uh, I can go ahead and start branching out into another road here. This one's going downhill. Yeah, it keeps adding this little ceiling quad that we don't need, but... I'll just delete those as we go, no big problem. So you can see what I'm doing is I'm building the streets and it's almost like I'm just creating tunnels in space. So that's kind of how I'm visualizing the streets, it's sort of like, say the city's a big solid object and the streets are just tunnels going through it in different directions. This one I'm kind of curving off a little bit. You see it's curving to the to the left and I'm gonna actually uh, select this little area in the middle, kind of pull it along there so it looks more smooth, more organic. And I don't really have specific buildings in mind as I'm doing this. Uh, I'm just going trying to make the roads interesting sh shape. And then when I'm done, I will go back and fit whatever buildings I need into the spaces in between the roads, if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to keep doing this. And the roads don't all have to be the same width. I can change it, make some of them more narrow than others. And here's what it looks like when I'm done. So you can see Mr. K's mansion over here. Here's the train station. Um, you can't see it right now, but there's going to be uh, some borders here. This on the city up top we have a city wall and on the left we also are going to have a city wall on the right we're going to have train tracks that's where the train comes in and out and that's going to kind of wall in this area and then on the bottom uh, i imagine we might have some sort of natural barrier like mountains or something like that something interesting 
As for Mazarin's Tower, I haven't quite decided yet, uh, but there are a few places of especially high elevation that I think would work, and I also want her tower to be somewhere around the city wall so that it's not bound in by the map. So if we walk around a little bit, you can get a better idea of how it's going to work. Yep, you can see lots of windy roads. We're walking up a hill. Going downhill. It's kind of twisty. It's hard to see around the corner. And I don't want you to get the impression that this whole build, I mean, that, that the whole map is going to be surrounded by these giant gray buildings. That's, so far, it's just a, um, just a prototype. The real buildings are going to be uh, more varied and more interesting. But this is just, for right now, just to get some interesting shapes for the roads that we're going to be walking around in. So we're only designing the map at a very macroscopic level and haven't added any of the details in yet. And it's not all tight and narrow. There's also some large areas you can see here, like um, any city. They have plazas and open spaces. And actually up here, we're so high up. We've been walking uphill for a long way. Now it goes down and there's a tunnel because uh, some of the roads go up, some of the roads go down. So we actually have some roads overpassing other roads at this point. Yeah, so of course, the real roads are going to, I'm going to open those in Blender and smooth them out a lot, so they're not going to be as blocky looking as these, and there's going to be sidewalks, things like that. Once again, this is just a very rough prototype. But it gives you an idea of what I'm going for, and I know with the amount of content I've created so far, uh, even a map this size, which is not very big, it seems very ambitious, and I wonder how am I going to have enough time to actually fill in all of this stuff. But not every building is going to be a key part of the story. Some of the buildings are just going to be there for color. So, um... You know, there'd be some extra space, some pacing. But yeah, that's the city so far. <laughs> 